can hear you, yes. Okay, so Tony Gashoka is saying, uh, in the 90s, uh, the Law Society of Kenya mobilized lawyers to boycott the judiciary until, in this case, the IBC is reconstituted properly. So what we are doing is, uh, and uh, we requested Wakil uh, Indewa to do it, is do the same. And he said that is something they can organize so that we get a proper constituted IBC. Will that give you hope? Thinking about how we will first devolve the conversation, then secondly, once we've devolved the conversation, can it be owned by majority of Kenyans? If majority of Kenyans own it and they say, Enyewe tunakubaliana na nyinyi, we need this. I can tell you, William Ruto will be shaken to his roots. He will have to run and uh, organize that political class that have ganged up with him, including those opposition leaders, and find a way to do that IBC. But for as long as he has the support of the villagers, TG. I don't know whether you want to respond or... Um... Yes, I, I'm very happy that uh, Morana has said what he has said because I agree with him. But the only thing that I'm not agreeing with him is that we are not using the law society. And I want to repeat, the law society in Kenya has played a major role in the liberation of this nation. In fact, uh, in the 90s, it was a critical, during the Matiba days, I remember even the detention of Kenneth Matiba and, Will, uh, and, and Rubia. There were times that the dictatorship of Moi was as brutal as this dictatorship. And when it came to matters of great public importance, the law society was able to move in and do things that were not normal uh, because there were extraordinary times. And so all I am asking Morara is that if we get the LSK behind a petition, can he continue what he's doing nationwide to show that people rally behind what the LSK can do? We will be asking them, can lawyers of Kenya get together and boycott the courts until the courts and the country, including the government, agree to hear the issue of IBC and resolve it as a right within our constitutional right as we take back sovereignty of the people. So I'm asking if we get it done at the academic level, can he take it down to the grassroots, which he's doing very effectively? That is all I'm saying to him. Tudafanya na ye pia afanya. Morara, did you hear uh, uh, Gashoka's uh, rebuttal? Or if you didn't, I, I can repeat it for you. I didn't hear anything. I don't know why. <laughs> no worries, Morana. So, this is what Onigashoka is suggesting because this is what we do every time we come on space. We discuss and you come up with a solution. So, because we have the Law Society of Kenya well represented in this space, I hope I'm clear to you, Morana. Yes, yes, I can hear you. So, Continue. we want, because we have to work within the law, so we want the LSK to go to court and say, and put up a petition that we want IBC reconstituted as a matter of urgency because it represents uh, all Kenyans. Now, for, la for us to be able to put pressure, it must be pressure from the court and pressure from the ground. Now, we can put pressure on the court, but you are very, you as Morara and your movement, is you are very effective on the ground. So we have a teamwork. Once we launch our petition to the High Court, now we move on the ground and put the and ask Kenyans to say that this IBC matter is now a national matter that needs urgency. Can we form such? Can we make such a declaration today to Kenyans? That is a very brilliant move. That's a very brilliant move because essentially what that move says, it says that let everyone do what they can do best. And uh, since you know the courts better, and since you still have hope in those courts, and it's not lost, we can make it an attempt. Let everybody try what they can. Let musicians make music that is revolutionary. Let you guys also go to court to seek orders uh, that this is a now a matter of national urgency. And meanwhile, those of us who have lost hope in those courts, let us organize the streets. And me, I'm willing to call everyone to the streets for mass action against those people. So I can put enough pressure from the streets and you can put enough pressure in court and we can make headway 
but it needs good preparation. Uh, it should not be by surprise. There should be good, uh, good, you know, good preparation in the minds of Kenyans and good coordination and good timing also. Good timing. Thank you, Morara. I hear you. And one of the things I'll promise you, on this piece we promised Kenyans we shall stop a done in court. We shall petition the Indian uh, government and we've done exactly that and we are getting results. So what we are going to do uh, with the permission of the legal team and uh, our and the Tony Gashok and his team, we shall do the petition and we shall coordinate with you. Once we have the plan, I assure you from our end, we shall coordinate and we shall execute in a very successful way. That's my sub that's my commitment to you, Morada. Um well go my, ahead. My uh, commitment proceed. to you my commitment to you is that uh well um I, you you are doing everything that you can for your nation and that has to be you know has to be we have to give you flowers and uh, hats off for everything that you're doing me i will do my part and my part is to rally people essentially my influence is is supposed to be used to rally people and to lead people towards uh, change in our country so if the the rallying call should be we want ibc now Mimi Ninani, Niko Tayari, I will wear my gumboots. I'm ready to show up and I'm ready to rally Kenyans who believe in that cause to show up and also to even make those who do not believe in that cause to believe in it. I mean, I agree with you, Marara. Everybody needs to play their part and we all have to do what we have to do. So I completely agree with you on that in that regard, in the sense that needs, this needs to be everybody's initiative and everybody's responsibility. We all have a role to play in this. So, um, I see Mkenya Daima's hand up and James. I see both of your hands up. Hang exactly. on, uh, we had a list. So uh, yeah, I have Joe going. Joe needs to go for three minutes. Then we have Morabo, then James, then Mkenya Daima. Okay, just a minute before they take it away. Um, can you yeah, hear go me? ahead, Morara? We can. Yeah, so I've just arrived at a crime scene and uh, I'm about to go into war. So I want to request leave. I am at uh, Upper Hill. I just left my house. I'm at Upper Hill at uh, what we call Talanta House. And right here at Talanta House, we have players of Kabadi Kenya team that are holed up in the office of the PS. They were supposed to travel to Iran today, and they've not had an opportunity to travel to Iran because their budget was approved but not signed. So I'm about to go to war, and for that reason, I have to leave. Uh, it's very, it's very much in order, Morala. We'll keep in touch. <laughs> So, uh, Muero. Thanks, Morara, for joining us. Uh, when you're done with what you're doing right now, feel free to join us. It will still be having the space. We appreciate your time and we appreciate everything that you've been doing. Uh, so the next speaker is supposed to be Joe, real Joe. Please speak for three minutes and then you'll be followed by Marabo, then James, then Kenya Dema. Uh, thank you very much, Moira. I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can. Thank you very much, Anthony. So uh, we are talking about uh, uh, reconstitution of the IBC, but I've had sentiments from Ndegwa, the Wakili. I've had sentiments from uh, Gashoka Tony. And uh, right now, I think as it stands right now, we all have the same problem. We are trying to solve the same problem. I, actually, today I would like to borrow some sentiments that were talked that were said by Anthony Gashoka in 2015 when he was at JKL Live, the famous interview, when people thought he was drunk. He was not. I know he was not drunk. He used that interview to castigate Uhuru and he, he 